How to create a Binance Web3 wallet step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use a Binance Web3 wallet. Now, the Web3 wallet feature is currently not available on the desktop version of Binance. So for this, first off, you're going to head on over to your mobile application, uh, your mobile device and open up your app store. And you're going to download the mobile application of Binance over here. So you can just open up your app store and download Binance. I have already done this and I have logged on to my Binance account. If you don't have one already, you can sign up with your email address and then you're going to have to confirm your identity to be able to proceed with Binance. So once you have downloaded Binance in your phone, you're just going to go on to the home section. And on your top right, you're going to see this button. I'll show it to you guys. This is the button over here on the top right that you want to click on. Once you do that, you're going to be seeing details about your account. Now in this, if you scroll down, you can see more services. You're going to click on that. Once you see more services, you're going to scroll down a little and uh, you will see the Web3 airdrop. So you're going to click on that. Once you click on your Web3, you can click on Create Wallet. And then you're going to allow it to use Face ID. And then after that, this is going to allow us to join the Web3 assets. It's creating our wallet. And just like that, our wallet has been created. Now, it has given me two options. Either I can use Passkeys or the Google Authenticator app. I am going to enable Passkeys over here. And I will have a email verification code that has been sent to my mailbox. So we're going to open that and I'm just going to open up my mailbox over here to see if we have received the authentication code. Let's just see. Either I don't think I have it yet. It might have gone into the spam account. So just make sure to refresh everything. And currently, yeah, so right now this delivered. Yeah, this was delivered right now. And this is our code. So it is 27 six four seven nine and you're just going to submit that onto binance now once we've done that we can proceed with our account okay for some reason it failed so i'm going to ask it to resend a code go back into my basic home page and this is the new code that has been sent i'm just going to type it out eight six four five two three and then submit once we've done this, it's going to ask me if I want to use Face ID. So I'm going to enable Face ID over here because it's an easy way for me to use my Binance wallet. And let's just wait for our wallet creation. So again, using Face ID to sign in on everything. And our wallet has now been created. So now our Web3 wallet on Binance has been created. Now you might wonder what's the difference between using the regular old Binance exchange wallet versus this wallet. Well, the exchange wallet belongs to the exchange and your assets don't completely belong to you when they are on the exchange. However, you can transfer your assets into any cryptocurrency blockchain when you transfer them onto this Binance Web3 wallet it allows you to take your crypto assets put them in the crypto blockchain without having to go through multiple different platforms and creating different wallets in different spaces so it allows you to have this simple decentralized app not only that so you can transfer your crypto uh, your crypto onto the blockchain you can also use d applications like you normally would use on other traditional applicate on other traditional uh you know crypto wallets like metamask or phantom or coinbase wallet or whatever we were previously using or you've seen being used so in this, you can see you have your Discover tab, you have airdrops, you can click on dApps on the top right. And once you do, you can choose which dApp you want. You have things like dApps such as Uniswap, Pancake, Staking Apps, Yielding, Lending, and many other types of decentralized applications. You can also earn points, enter the BNB chain ecosystems, as well as use some of their other tools. Now, if we go back into assets, we can click on backup now and we can back up our wallet. So if you click on backup wallet, you can set up your recovery password. Then you can select your wallet address. So for that, we are going to be using the 
I think I want to proceed again with a basic chain. So we're going to go with ETH, click on create address, back up wallet now, and we can back it up with a QR code or iCloud. And then we can proceed with setting up our wallet addresses. Once you set up your wallet address, you would be able to send and receive crypto into your Web3 wallet. Then from here, we also have our market options. So not only are you able to use your basic crypto exchange, but you can use your decentralized wallet to be able to monitor and view changes in the market you can see you have alpha as well as market so if you go into markets over here you get a better view and you're able to track a certain token's progress so the trump token currently the price for this token has gone up it was previously like 29 dollars uh, and this is a 24-hour high was 32 dollars the 24-hour low was $29 the total trading volume the total supply we have as well and we can proceed with more information if we want but I'm just going to go back and with that we can also choose a quick buy with any certain person on the alpha market if you click on quick buy over here you can prepare your wallet or you can also just proceed and then if we go back into home you can see your total balance and you can click on receive and receive tokens from your Binance exchange or you can receive tokens via an address. So whenever your new wallet or your new Web3 wallet or a cryptocurrency wallet is created, you have two options to fund it. You can either fund it via an exchange, so transfer your funds from Binance into your wallet. However, if those are funds you are currently trading and you want to actually transfer funds from another cryptocurrency wallet, then you're going to receive tokens via address. If you want to do that, just choose the address you want to create. Uh, I want to create a Bitcoin address and I'm going to just set up a minimum phrase. So we're going to set up a recovery phrase over here. Re enter our recovery phrase like this, which for some reason does not match. I'm going to have to do this again. And now I'm going to click on continue. Keep your password safe. I'm going to click on continue once more. I'm going to have to enter my recovery phrase, then click on continue. Backup was successful. And now I have my Bitcoin wallet address. Not only that, you get wallet addresses of basically every single chain. So you're able to just copy this, paste it into anywhere you want to receive your funds. You can also send, scan, view your history, earn, and do so much more with the Web3 wallet. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own Web3 wallet on Binance to separate your exchange money versus your regular crypto investments or savings. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave them in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to 